Hello Booktopians! I'm Stephanie Lawrence and my new book, The Ladies Command, the first instalment in my latest adventure romance series, The Adventurers, is out this summer. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. I usually research backwards, as it were. Uh, I find that I need for a certain story or a certain plotline, I need a certain something, a place, or for instance in this case because it was adventure romance on the high seas, I needed to know a lot about ships and I needed to know about all the sorts of sailing and sails that uh, existed back in the correct time period, which in this case is 1824. Uh, I also had to find a certain place that was sort of doing certain things and I found that to be Freetown in West Africa and then I had to go and look up all the historical data on Freetown and find what I could of, for instance, maps of the settlement back in the early 1800s. Uh, having done that, I can then use that as a background to a lot of what I'm writing. All the actual scenes are put into the correct places. And sometimes research can really throw out gems uh, for instance, I'm actually researching the fourth book in the series at the moment and I needed a particular a naval engagement for the hero to be called away to back in 1812 to 1817. It had to fall between then. And so I researched British naval history and lo and behold, there it was. The bombardment of Algiers in 1816 was just perfect. Uh, and that has then informed how I write the story. In my case, uh, the stories really rise out of the characters and the settings that, and situations the characters find themselves in. But even those situations are actually a part of what the characters are and what they would be doing. And so for me, in the case of the adventurers, it all started off with Edwina and Frobisher, who were secondary characters in a previous book. And from there, I thought, well, what are they doing? Where are they going? Uh, what's the issues that are going to face them? Because I knew they were about to get married. Uh, and I knew the Frobishers were a family of four, uh, and they had a shipping business. But I also knew there was something more to them than that. There was something that didn't quite meet the eye. And so I followed that through. And for me, if you give me the characters and you give me the question, what if, to me, I'll always have stories to tell. <laughs> 